One of the features from the GitLens extension that I find myself using most often are the line blame annotations. So these line blame annotations are shown to the right of your current code, and they show information about the commit that last touched this line. So in this case, my cursor is on this line, and we can see that this was last changed by this author this amount of time ago, and here's some additional metadata about the commit itself. Now, line blame annotations are enabled by default by GitLens, so all you need to do to see these is install the GitLens extension and then actually go to a workspace that has Git in it. So let's go and we, as we move through the file here, you'll see the line blame annotations updating. My cursor can be anywhere on the line. I just have to have it somewhere there and the line blame annotation will always show to the right of things. Let's go back to the first line here. And if I wanna learn more about this commit, all I have to do is hover over the annotation. So I'm gonna go hover over the annotation here and now I can see both more complete details about the commit. Um, so the full time it was changed, the full commit message, along with the change itself. So here's what the line was before, here's what it was after. And if we wanna learn even more, we can go click in some of these controls here. Let's just open up the full list of controls for GitLens. And we can see if we have all these operations we can perform about the commit itself. Now, if we wanna see all the changes in this current file, let's go and say open changes. And we'll just go to the changes. Now we can actually see all of the changes that were part of this commit. So pretty cool. And there's a bunch of other operations you can do besides that. Now, if you ever want to hide the line blame annotations for any reason, you can just open up the command palette. So control shift P on Windows and Linux, command shift P on Mac and say toggle line blame annotations. So now I've turned off the line blame annotations. And if I ever want to see them again, I can just go and run the same command. So toggle line blame annotations. So those are the line blame annotations for GitLens.